You all know that I love to do Seed and Deed in the Frog, right after flying the A-10 of course. But since the introduction of the AGM-141 Tald, it supposedly made doing SAM runs a whole lot easier. So I got Kamza and myself to hop into his server where we just went in and did a very simple mission with the new toys. While I'll have the full load out of these bad boys, Kamza will be in the Viper with two harms. So let's see just how effective these things really are. I'm zooming in on this objective to see what's actually here. Uh, ICBMs, a bunch of tankaroos. There's actually a couple of SAM launchers here. So I see, and are those SA2s? Fucking tell that one SA2 is literally inside the bunker. <laughs> the missile is <Yeah>. facing. <laughs> Good spawn, right? I right, don't have to worry about that one. All right, cool. <laughs> And this video is made possible with our sponsor, Thrustmaster. If you're in the market for a beginner level HOTAS, then check out the T-Flight HOTAS 1 in the description below, where you can find a code for 15% off the already low price. Oh, she's a fatty. I can that one. <laughs> the tire pressure is a little low. <laughs> I don't even think you can get it high enough within limits to compensate for that much chunk. Okay, that's a that's full. Uh, what is that like? Uh, three, ten. Uh, there's like 15, 20 knots or something to win. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. At least it's like lined up right with the runway, so that's could be worse. We're about David Farber 730 lining up flight of two for runway. What's the runway number? Three three four northbound. You're welcome. It's a team effort. <laughs> I that was too lazy to look. <laughs> it's literally on the runway. I'm... I'm drinking. <laughs> What's your speed now? Four zero zero. Damn, you're fast. Bring it back a little. Take your time, we got some time anyway. Yeah, you mean you wanted to fly up the coast? Your scenic views? There's... there's nothing to see. There's a, there's a mountain to the right, that's about the highest peak in this area. There's a lake. Marsh traffic fiber 960 taking off from way 060. If we were in the Falklands, we'd have a cool little terrain sequencing anomalies to look at as a road trip item. Listen, uh, keep an eye out on things. I'm taking my wrench out and I need to tighten some of these screws because the friction oh is so God. loose. If I leave it at 80%, my throttles literally slam forward into afterburner. Yeah, do your thing. Okay, now it's too tight and it's making squeaky noises. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, looks like my exterior tank is empty. Time to do the thing. God, you're such a blueberry. Shut up. You're so navel. Uh, heads up, contact 11 o'clock. It looks pretty far. Should be no factor for us if we can make this and turn right. The guy at 15 bound. miles? Yeah. He's like 60 miles away, I guess. Give or take. Alright, I think maybe now is the time to start hitting burner here soon. So I can get the uh, the range speeds. Yep. SA-19 SA and SA-6. That's what I got. You might want to start throwing them tattles. It's two. I'm targeted. I'm going to flow south. I'll target the SA-6 first. As soon as I got within range of the SAM cluster, I just let loose all the munitions. Mainly for the lulls. Then I made a 180, while Kamza split off to go set up for his attack run. Oh, you're like dropping them all like a bag of eggs. All tattles are away. You may want to maybe snake back and forth, because these things are going to take a while to get over there. I'm circling yeah, I'm back out south. to the west. Okay, it's definitely targeting the tattles. All right, feel free to engage at any point. As expected, the SAM started to intercept the Tals, and while they were busy doing that, Kamza was sitting up to the side to start engaging his two targets. I'll uh, wait a second for our buddy DSA-19. There might be two, not sure though. 
Magnum SA-19. Copy that. Tracking your shots. First, good hit. Tracking second shot. Uh, can't confirm second. I think that's a kill. And yes, it's confirmed that the two harms make their way through without a single intercept from the SAM site. The rest of the Tals made their way past the AO, while the AAA made a futile attempt at intercepting them while they flew right over. Look at this pain train. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a MiG-25 I'm shooting at. Fox 3, I'm uh, gonna go ahead and flow west. Okay, I'm gonna turn back towards you to provide cover as you flow back, and then I'll turn back with you as we try uh, RTB. Copy. He's at 8 miles from me. Tally. Uh, range 30 he's miles. Be he's beyond contrail. Sconning again. Yeah, I'm, I'm Banzai. Copy, I'm tracking. Well, I'm losing him, actually. What the fuck? Splash. Alright, good. Nicely done. So we have good kills on the uh, SA6, and we got a 25 down. Copy, I know you hit two things over there. That will be SA6 and SA19, then. Yeah, I see two fires down there. That's pretty good. Yeah, nice. These title things. <laughs> They're pretty neat! <laughs> <laughs> Man, the detail on the pylon is pretty crazy. I don't ever noticed it. It's actually very well done. Good job, ED. Okay, we have a lab here in Marge... 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 So that's the helicopter base we can technically land that. There's a LAV-25 there, so I think there should be... Yeah, no, we right? can rearm there, but it's, it's a bit funny to land there. You'll you'll have to stop at a pretty small distance. Wanna try it? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Alright. You will send us? 1800. Yeah, you're fine. fine. Alright, it's the next field over. I'm gonna start descending and we'll yeah, it's figure it's right in front of us. 11 o'clock. Throttling back and descending. And we'll just like enter what left pattern or, or something. So thickest boy to land on is definitely this north one. Okay, right, the one closest. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll I'm make left pattern because yeah, wind's blowing that way. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's fine. You go first. I'll go behind you. Cluppy. I just need to like aggressively descend more. No idea what the elevation is of this, but this looks fine right around here. Uh, we are at 2,800. Altitude. Altitude. Uh, there is a bit of crosswind blowing. That's fine. I'll figure out when I get there. Yeah, just blowing to the south. So I'll be right to left on landing. It's really not a long runway, be aware. Try to land as slow as you can. Yep, I got pretty slow here. Oh, oh, that cross one's going to be great. <laughs> oh, God. And full flaps. Oh, dear. I should really fix my HUD. I forget how to do that. But uh, I ended up way too close to you. I should wave off. Because uh, your slower landing speed's going to fuck me. I'm going around. Got me. Uh, got bingo here. Damn, it's pretty aggressive. Yeah, that was not a fun landing. I kind of butchered that one. Did you break your bones? <laughs> That's not, it's not that bad. But I kind of have to like land cross sideways. I couldn't straighten out the nose. Yeah, I'm about Jesus. to experience it in the, the tiny, tiny wheels, Viper. It's a helicopter base. This is a good way to practice those crosswind landings, my god. 
I've definitely done better before. This this is rough. My approach is uh, way high. Yeah, you're good though. I'm on the right side of the runway. There you go. You got it. Lag. Oh, God. Oh, it's lagging. It's freezing. Fully. Oh, what the fuck? How did I... How did I put it down? You know, I'm not even gonna ask. I'm not even gonna ask. I froze completely right above the ground. And then I was straightened out and on... I'm not... I'm happy. <laughs> And that brings us to the end of this video. However, not to the end of testing these new toys, especially since they show up as hostile targets on radar. This obviously makes me ponder just how effective they can be in a multiplayer server at, mm, I don't know, disorienting the enemy? I think this requires further testing, don't you?